Well, hi guys. Well, it's Sunday and uh, Cole and I are out for a walk. Uh, I haven't posted for a few days because uh, just a little pissed off, guys. This ain't gonna be a rant. My ranting is what got me into trouble. I uh, put up a couple of videos. They were pretty extensive, pretty long because uh, been watching a lot of stuff on the internet, you know, over the holiday weekend. And uh, so I made a couple of videos uh, that turned into rants and whatever, you know. But uh, according to the YouTube guidelines, I, uh, I picked the wrong subject matter in my rants because uh, they uh, took my videos down. There's a couple of them. Some pretty darn good videos too, guys. You know, pretty insightful. Uh, and uh, I gotta be careful from now on because they got my eyes on me. They took two of my videos in a row down. You know, because of the subject content of my videos. And uh, I don't understand why they would pick on me. I didn't even think I was on their radar, you know? But uh, it was a sort of a, I told you so video. And it was about the, uh, the, uh, the arm ticket deal and whatever. That's all I'm gonna say about that. But uh, turned out I was right about it, but uh, YouTube didn't like that, and uh, they didn't want me tooting my horn about it. And uh, a lot of other creators out there can talk about that subject matter all day long, because I've watched it, and uh, they don't have any problem with uh, leaving their videos up. Not only that, they're able to get monetized on them. So they're getting paid for those videos, and those videos are doing pretty darn good. Forgot to put my darn bug spray on again. But anyway, just wanted to let you guys know I'm still alive and kicking. It's Sunday, and it's a pretty warm day. Not too bad. It's later in the evening. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed your holiday weekend. Pretty much over now. Um, I enjoyed mine. Uh, it was a real downer to find out that my videos were taken off. They must have took them off right away. I don't know if any of you guys got to see them before they took them down or not. But uh, they took them off pretty quick. But uh, it's okay, I just have to you know, be more careful about what I say. Like I said, I didn't know they even uh, were paying me any attention. You know, I'm not a, not a big channel. I don't have that many subscribers. Well, if I got a few subscribers, actually I got quite a few subscribers, you know. And uh, I guess when you get to that point, they start taking notice of you. My subscribers grew kind of quick and whatever, and I guess they took notice of that. And they say, well, let's see what this guy's talking about. So when they checked that out, they didn't like what they heard. <clears throat> but anyway, I wasn't, uh, I got to tell uh, all you new people on my channel now, uh, welcome to my channel. Um, I made this channel simply because I wasn't trying to, I didn't make this channel or start this channel to make money or to get monetized or whatever. I really didn't expect it to get as far as it did. I didn't know there that many people that were interested in what I got to say or watch any of my, you know, walk-in videos with Cole. But uh, apparently they are. And uh, you guys like to hear what I say, whatever, you're probably entertained by my rants and whatever. But uh, YouTube wasn't too happy about it. They're okay as long as I'm ranting about the right thing, but 
I guess I ran, ran it about the wrong thing at that particular time. But anyway, I made my channel because I just wanted to keep chronicles of the adventures I go through and the things I do and whatever, everything. I, I really got started in, um, on my channel, really took off when I uh, made an attempt, as you guys know, or you may not know, if you just joined my channel, I used to be a bricklayer. And, uh, and the bricklaying trade, you know, you can work all year round, no problem, but working in the winter is very hard to do. And I don't like doing it. I don't like winter, period. Because I live here in Michigan, and winters are pretty much unforgiving. And uh, it's a real pain trying to work laying bricks in the winter. It is possible, but uh, it's really hard to do. It's really a pain in the ass, and it's really not even worth it because it's, you know, I'd rather be laid off and get unemployment than to work through the winter. But unfortunately, I'm so good at, at laying bricks and laying blocks, especially blocks, that uh, any employer I ever work with, they wouldn't give me unemployment. They kept me working because uh, even though in the wintertime it slows down, you know, and it's hard to, you know, prep the job to be able to work. You have to put plastic up and you have to uh, shoot heat into the enclosure so that it's, uh, the temperatures are high enough for the mortar not to freeze, you know, and uh, that, that's an extra expense for the employers and everything. So they cut down on the, on the uh, workers, but they keep me because I'm able to keep the numbers up, you know, which was my reward for being such a good worker was to work all through the winter after and do all the bullshit and uh didn't have to do all the extra work on top of that but I finally got smart and decided to uh go to warmer climates oh my god how many times am I going to trip over that same damn thing look at this thing guys look at this you need a different angle of it look at that I'm tripping over there all the time. I come through here. What is it? Is it wood? Yeah, it's, it's, actually, it's actually wood. I got a saw I can cut that off with. I got to remember to bring it with me next time. Because that hurt that time. Usually I just get a piece of it. Or it just catches me just by a little bit. But that time it caught me head on. And the damn branch took my darn thing off my head. That time it caught me full on. Right on the toe, and that hurt. I gotta cut that damn thing off. And I will. Next time, I gotta remember to bring my damn uh, saw with me. Let's go this way, Cole. Well, that's all right, we go that way. Since you wanna go that way, we'll go that way. So anyway, um, I decided to uh, go to warmer climate and work and whatever because I could uh, drive to Florida which was my destination of choice to work because uh, it's warmer down there and I can still work and won't have to work as hard because of the uh, and I can enjoy the nice weather you know so uh, I decided to chronicle it on my channel which I did I started my channel but going down there Ended up getting into trouble and got my car totaled and had to come back up here, uh, which was a paid for Cadillac uh, and uh, which I used to go down there with. It got good mileage. It was paid off in tip top condition. But uh, and I would camp in my, I brought a tent with me. I would camp out in the tent at the campsites and then I would uh, drive to work back and forth in the car. And uh, worked out good until I got, you know, my car total. Somebody ran to the back of me, tore it up. And then I had to uh, come back to Michigan with my tail between my legs because 
I didn't have any transportation. Even tore my bike up. My bike was on the bike rack in the back of the car. So I didn't even have a bike. So coming back, I didn't even have a, I couldn't, couldn't even rent a vehicle because everything was rented out because this so happened it was spring break time. So I couldn't get a car or nothing. So I ended up renting a, uh, a U-Haul truck to come back. And uh, since I was in a stroke of bad luck, I needed some good luck. So I got Cole, got him down there, and I brought him back with me. And we came back up here to Michigan in that U-Haul truck. Took our time, took us a week to get back because I took my time going slow. Uh, I had the money to do it because I had an emergency fund. And uh, it was at the same time as the uh, coronavirus was going on thing happening. And um, my tax return came back and I was able to uh, get that uh, tax bonus they gave us. And uh, that made it where I was able to uh, have enough money to pay for campgrounds and uh, take, a, take my time coming back. Of course, I chronicled all that in my videos. I got over a thousand videos out there. So that whole story and everything that happened thereafter that brought me to this point here are on those videos. So it's some interesting watching, you know, if you guys wanna get, get caught up to my situation, you're welcome to check out those videos. So, but anyway, here we are now. Um, I got another vehicle, and I've got a trailer, you know, both capable of sleeping two or three people. And uh, I'm gonna try it again this year. We'll see what happens. Either Florida or uh, Arizona. Might try to make that RTR this year. Might try to. We'll see. Nothing's in stone. But I uh, will see. But uh, anyway, I don't know how many of you guys are gonna try to make that. I'll be glad to see some other people there. But if not, it's a pretty big place. Easy to miss each other. But uh, I got a feeling you guys won't miss me with my trailer. You know, it's pretty unique. And you see that thing from any distance, you'll know it's me. And especially if you got a drone, you take it up in the air, you'll be able to see my, uh, my bat signal on the top of my trailer there. And you'll be able to find me. I'll let you guys know if I'm there. But anyway, just thought I'd uh, catch up all the new people so you guys can know what's going on on my channel. <clears throat> like I said, I appreciate the new people and everything. Numbers are growing nicely and everything. But uh, like I said, I didn't do it to make money. If I, if I got monetized and enough people came on the channel, then that's good. I, I, I appreciate that. But uh, it wasn't my... Um, initial goal and whatever so I was able to pretty much say whatever I want to say on my channel without having to worry about um, you know YouTube giving me a slap on the wrist or any problems because I didn't care since I wasn't monetized anyway what are they gonna do well what they did was took my darn video down completely so now, you guys won't get to see that content, which was pretty good, I might say. You know, it's pretty good content. You know, I mean, some videos are, you know, are strained and pushed and whatever, but other videos, sometimes you get on a rant and the, the words just roll off your tongue, you know. And uh, you just get a flow. And that's what those videos were. It was a nice flow. You guys would have enjoyed it. And uh, I hate that that happened. Somebody left a cigarette lighter here. Ah! Feels like it's full too. I'm gonna hang on to it. Probably good for starting the fire if need be. But uh, this stuff's getting thick down through here. They haven't been through here in a while. I wonder if they got that tree on the other trail. 
I've got to remember my spray, guys. I've just got to remember that. The thermos, thermos sales work good too, but really not as good as the spray. The spray really keeps them off, especially when you spray it on you and then rub it in or whatever. But uh, come on, cold darting through. But uh, anyway, oh, shout out to Van Man, Van Man, stay free, brother. Uh, I got a chance to catch Van Man on his uh on his uh live stream or whatever. I can't do live stream yet because uh, I don't meet the minimum requirements on my channel. But as soon as I do, I'll be doing some live stream, probably from camp, when I'm doing my camping or whatever. I was gonna do a video camping over the weekend, but when they took my, my videos down, that kinda put a damper on that. But uh, there'll be more videos, there'll be good videos like that. I just got to be more careful with, uh, you know, you got to be more careful. Remember, there is censorship in this uh, uh, platform, and uh, you can't just say anything that you want to on these things. They, they, they've given me quite a bit of lenience and whatever, and uh, I kind of pushed it a little too far. You know, I'm a little smarter than the average bear. And uh, I made the mistake of letting YouTube know that. And uh, they're afraid that uh, people just might listen to this bear. And uh, it might make a difference. I'm still swatting mosquitoes because they're landing on me. I'm feeling them getting on me. I feel them biting me. I'm getting them too. One thing is, I don't get them until they've gotten, taken a bite out of me. But uh, and that's gonna itch all night for the rest of the night. You know, I'm gonna feel like I'm getting bit right then and there. And it's gonna be from these bit bites I got, you know, hours ago. You know, this is how it works. But it's all good. Got some good prospects for work next week. So, I think I'll be working. You know, gotta take in some information to a couple of companies, whatever. I'm waiting on a background check to come back. A couple of places that are hiring. Probably gonna do a, a work to the first one that pops up. To, I'll probably start working on the first one that pops up. And uh, if one that gets this closer to the house pops up or pays more, I'll jump off that and onto the other. You know, I have no loyalty for these companies. I'm going for the highest bidder and the most perks. Highest bidder, most perks. When I say highest bidder, I mean who's ever paying the most. And when I say the most perks, it's uh, the closest one to where I live. Uh, the easier the job, you know. Uh, the nature of the job, and etc. You know, I'm I'm gonna be picky because uh, a couple of jobs, you know, look really promising. So. Unfortunately, when they do come through, it's going to be nose to the grindstone again <clears throat> for a first couple of months, you know, to build up my nest egg again. And uh, really, I'm doing it to build up my my uh, escape for the winter. I'm just going to work on these jobs until uh, uh, the fall, save up enough money to... Uh, take off and do my snowbird thing this year. Like I see, I'm gonna be going to Florida or